Alright, what's going on guys? Moxification here. So today I'm doing a video on Byram's patched eggshell. So essentially what this allows you to do is, if you saw a couple of weeks ago I did a video on how to edit your, uh, your eggshell theme, this essentially allows you to edit it much quicker. So instead of having to keep putting the files in the, uh, the X, the X launch or FDF, you can actually just like quickly put the files on your Xbox and test it and see how it looks without having to mess around with party buffalo. So uh, yeah, so this is his website and this is where I found it. And he's also got a GitHub and I'm gonna link both of these in the description. So yeah, let's uh, get into it. So this is what you'll get once you download the the file. This is the this is the zip file that you're gonna get. So I'm gonna open it up right now. So so for starters, you want to drag this one to your desktop. Uh, the XL theme. Also, you want to determine which one you're gonna use. So I'm on a dev kit, so I'm gonna use this one. Uh, you've got the XL.exe, so I'm gonna grab, drag that to my desktop as well. But if you're on RG Loader, this is the the XL XL you're gonna use. Uh, also there's a readme so what i would suggest is definitely reading it just making sure for yourself but uh so for me being on the dev kit i'm gonna i'm gonna drag this one and just stick it in the hdd like the just the root whereas for uh, rg loader you're gonna use you're gonna follow this like essentially this like guide rather than what i'm gonna do but you know it's it's pretty much the same the same concept so uh, also it says to make a backup of your of your xl.xex so I'm, I'm gonna do that right now so i'm gonna go to uh, volume flash and find the xl.xex actually i don't want to drag that to the desktop i want to make a folder quickly so i'm gonna do that now cool so i'm gonna drag this to the the folder didn't want to overwrite the modded the modded one the patched one so i'm gonna stick that up here for now because we don't need that right now uh, in the readme it also says not to overwrite the one in your flash but i know this works for me so i'm going to do that right now there you go done and then i'm going to stick the actual theme in the retail hard drive emulation section but for you on uh, rg loader that may be different and it explains all that in the readme so i definitely recommend giving that a read but yeah so from here what you're going to do is uh, open the uh, xshell.theme right so from here you're going to want to uh, essentially you're done now but obviously you're not done because you want to you want to modify it but uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open the excel theme i'm going to open images i'm going to go to let's let's grab the bg image underscore blue let's grab this one uh and yeah so I, in fact i can delete this now because that's not required uh, and i can delete this as well because that's not required so i'm going to open this up in photoshop so i can edit it uh, let's do that now i need to open with photoshop Okay, so we're in Photoshop now. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing here. In fact, you know what? I was gonna speed this footage up. If it takes too long, I'll speed it up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little a little hue change. I'm gonna do a little little bit more bright. I'm gonna do a little bit of you know let's do let's do a nice green instead of instead of blue. So let's I'm gonna save that now. In fact, to be fair, I don't like the red thing there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's do this. Oh wait, I've done it on the wrong thing. Here we go. Get rid of that there, that's gone. Let's save this now. Save as copy, uh, PNG, and I'm gonna overwrite it over the file that, that it was before, okay. And no, don't need to save that. So now, what you wanna do is go to the XL theme, wherever that is located on your console. Make sure it is the where it's meant to be, as it says in the, the readme. So now that this can go in here, overwrite, yes to all. And so now I'm gonna go back to where it's where the flash is and go to the xl.xex so i'm gonna i'm gonna transfer you to the console now so you can see what's gonna happen so i'm about to click xl.xex so this is this is the, the default theme this is what, what it looks like normally so when i click launch it should be green as it is so instead of having to mess around with the the uh, what is it the xlaunch.ftf you can just drag and drop the files and you don't have to mess around with party buffalo it's way quicker way more simple and uh if you if at any point you decide oh, actually i want to go back to the the x launch the fdf all you have to do is put your backup file back into the back into here 
where, where the flash is, where, where the exit, where the X shell is, and then delete the the folder on your wherever that's located, the X shell theme. But obviously, you don't have to delete that because that would just become dormant files. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, check out Byram's website, and also look out for a video on the the GTA 5 stuff from Byram, the GTA 5 Online. Uh, that will come out very soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.